Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft from Hermitcraft the server. I am over in the end. I, I hope you're doing good. Sorry. I hope that you're doing good. My illness is almost over. Thank goodness! Today marks the day of where I will start to backlog videos uh, for Minecon. I'm gonna I'm gonna play a lot of Minecraft as if I don't do that already. Um, so I'm so happy that the illness is finally passing. Thank you all for your lovely, lovely get well soon Escal messages that you've been sending to me. Um, anyway, let's get right to it here today because today we got a, I got a little bit of a project in mind that I want that I want to do badly. Uh, and that is the Ender Ender. I've been over here for a little while just repairing my tools and I've been thinking this is probably one of the ugliest things I've ever built. It's really like cramped and and disgusting and stuff. Um, and I'd like to just, you know, break break open all of this and make like a, a proper area here. I think that could be a lot of fun. However, there is a reason for why end renders always are one or sorry two or two and a half blocks tall and that reason is because when you hit the enderman now we kill them in one hit but as they fall down they take fall damage and when they do they will look for a place to teleport they'll go like oh where can i teleport because i'm in danger i'm a stupid idiot where can i teleport to um and they will find no place because they can't teleport into water and we got water on top you can see it there uh, and they can't teleport in here because they simply won't fit. Like if they teleport in here, the, their little head would be would be stuck in the in the in the thing, which is not good. Um, so uh, that's why they're always the the end renders are always like this. Now I don't like that a bit. Um, so I went in and I created a um, an end biome, sorry, end dimension in a creative world. Because I wanted to do some tests and I'm going to jump over there. We're going to log off of Herbicraft and I'm going to jump over there and show you some of the findings that I did. Hello, silly world. Here we go. Uh, th this is a crazy world. Am I? Crap. Are you kidding me right now? I don't. Whoo, I made it. I don't have a spawn point. I thought I wasn't in creative. I am such a stupid idiot. It's crazy. Um, okay. Difficulty, let's do difficulty zero. Boom. Get rid of all the endermen, okay? And then let's just redo this. Um, so I wanted to find a way. Uh, I was thinking like, can I do, can I make an ender ender that's designed, that's prettier and cooler looking than the one we have? Uh, and my first uh, obstacle was the fact that I want to have more space to work with. I don't want to have water everywhere. So I wanted to see if there's a possibility. And I think I found it. Um, Here's a few test chambers to where they would teleport. Carpet, they it seems like they don't want to teleport to, which I didn't know. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I didn't know that. And I honestly, I think that's pretty new. Maybe that's a 1.9. I have no idea. I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna go into uh, to details. These endermen have full health, so when I hit them, they will get in danger. None will teleport though for some reason. That may also be a change. However, if they take projectile damage such as such as a, a splash potion of harming they will teleport and this is the only place where um where it's like solid blocks and then three tall for them over here i have a glass block and three tall i've seen them teleport into that little chamber as well but if we just throw a, a few of these geez how am i harming myself uh you can see that they're never teleporting to the oh i have one more they're never teleporting to the carpet which is fantastic. If that is true, I'm a happy skull today. Oh, baby. That means that we can design something pretty. You know what I'm saying? I should also mention that mobs since 1.8 can no longer spawn on carpet, which is amazing. That is kind of key to this as well. Anyway, I just started clearing out this place. The first thing I did was that I removed all the stupid water. Um... And I've also removed the falling grounds. The Endermen <laughs> are just falling. It looks like an Enderman curtain here. And it stopped as I just walked back. There we go. They just keep falling and falling and falling. We could increase the rates of this thing if I rebuilt it way down uh, at Y level 1. But I don't really want to do that. I think we're fine as we are. It's quick enough. Um, so the water is gone. The first stage 
is to clear out all of this garbage. I have an idea for a build that I will share with, with you momentarily. But um, before we get to the fun part, we gotta we gotta take all of this out. One thing that I wanna uh, do that's gonna be like important is that I wanna make this much much bigger. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, we'll probably hmm, I'll probably go quite a bit away um, with with making this this larger uh, now that we can, and just use carpet to block their their teleportation skills. All right, so I've got rid of all the uh, garbage. Well, not all of it, but I've got rid of uh, quite a bit of stuff. And I've created for us a cobblestone platform, just so we can chill out. I think we may want to place... Well, we've got some chests floating randomly. i just going to say, Biffa's junk, please leave. We'll be back later. Thank you. He have had that since the day he discovered the Ender Ender. And that's a long time ago now. Um... So he was never back later. He never cleared it up. But anyway, I've created for us a little bit of a platform where we can work and do the new structure. Uh, I have such an amazing plan. If I can carry this through, I'm, I'm going to be very happy. Um, let me show you. I want, first of all, we want to make this, uh, the end render, we want to make it functional. And, and we also want to make it pretty and much bigger than what it was in the past. So I'm thinking... The ender slaying thing will be over here. That will kind of be... Let's see. If we go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a wall here. Um, and that will be kind of the main room where we will have the enchanting. Because you want to have... You want to have easy access to... To... Uh, <laughs> to high. You want to have easy access to kill the to kill the enderman, uh, basically. And I think the, the ground, the floor level... Oh, actually, I saved a little bit of it here. Yeah, the floor level was... A half slab there so the floor level will be here and we'll be standing and slaying now first of all uh, one cool thing with carpets is that it will pick up the sound from the block underneath so if we place them down and if I walk on this you can hear that I will be getting the the cobblestone sound and that's important because I want to build a space station and I want it to sound like if you're walking on metallic Metallic things, and that's the closest you get, I think. Let's try with an iron block as well. Uh, sounds very important for me. Oh, actually, the iron block seem to be... Seem to be an even more... Metallic sound. We may want to use, yeah, we may want to use iron blocks then. That's cool. I actually stopped talking there. Y your audio did not mess up in case you were wondering. I wanted to listen. Um, so maybe we'll use iron blocks. I was thinking that the, the sound was the same. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about the design. I want to create a space station. And I've been looking at some pictures because I got to be honest with you. Iskala ain't no space fantast. Fanta that's Swedish. I, I ain't no space lover. I don't understand space at all. Actually, you know what? Let me do a little bit of a test build maybe down here with you guys. Um, I don't know much about space. It doesn't really interest me a whole lot. But um, um, this would be a challenge and it would be interesting. I think the background block we're going to use is this grey cyan clay. Uh, which is really very grey and I think it looks good. And then I'm going to use quartz. Now quartz and iskal, we don't go well together. I don't I don't really fancy this block. But it's really cool in compare, uh, next to the cyan clay. Um, and I want to be planning out some doorways, probably some of them etho doors, you know, uh, because we're going to have a few different rooms, and I'll get to that later. Um, so we'll have, ooh, actually, that's pretty bad. I'm thinking we'll have, like, airlocks and stuff. I know that Beef is building some kind of space station as well, but this will be a little bit different, uh, because we're in space here, Beef. You're not in space. You're in a red desert. You've landed somewhere. Come on now. Uh yeah, I want to have like a, a, a glass door. The only problem is that you'll see the pistons. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm just putting down like some sketching, some sketching stuff. So maybe we could even go like that and then the thing open up behind. Oh, that looks cool already. Um, the only thing we have to remember is that it needs to be carpet everywhere. Um, I think we can use this dark gray carpet for majority of the of the areas for sure. Uh, let's just see how that sits. So if we would have... So my background block would be the cyan clay, right? And the foreground would be the, the the white. We need a trim block as well. And I'm thinking like an orange or yellowish. Maybe yellow clay. I don't think I have any here though. Maybe... 
Ooh, we could possibly use the Comic Sans of Minecraft. Or we could use this. I want kind of... A, I want a sharp, sharp color, though. I mean, I'll think about that a little bit. Let's just see what happens. I think this is too... Yeah, no, I don't like that. Um, needs to be sharper for, like, trim stuff, like uh, a lamp or something like that. Um, maybe we'll use end rods as well. That could be a cool thing. Then I'm thinking I want to have windows. So, like, sit, uh, looking out over the... Over the over the space over the void over the space and these look pretty good. That's light blue. Let's try Did I not bring? Oh, yeah, I have the gray ones as well Let's try a little bit of a section here The cool thing now is that we don't have to have it um, Super cramped or anything because of the because of the carpet trick that we learned so um, We can build this how we want I think both of these look good, but this looks a little bit cooler I'd say depends on the rest of the design though so foreground that background that I also think it's going to be important to have different heights every here and there. Maybe we'll have, like, the Enderman slaying thing will be... Oh, actually, I'm, I'm placing this as floor. Shoo! The floor will always be carpet, this guy, you fool. Um, yeah, maybe we'll have an Enderman killing zone on, on one level. And then we'll kind of step down and we'll use that carpet trick that Exumavoid showed me where you put fences underneath... Do I not have... I think I have fences here so I can show you. Uh, nope. Super poop. No fences anywhere. I could make some though. Aha. Uh -huh. Boop. Like that. Because I did bring wood. Because wood is important in a space station. Yeah, so what Exuma cho showed me was that you can do... And I didn't know this. I, I, I Do people know this commonly? Like, I know this when you when you travel in and out with animals, but I didn't know that you can create, like, a staircase. Look at that. I'm not jumping or anything, and I don't have auto jump on either, because that's annoying. So we could do something like that to just have different, like, platforms and stuff, which I think is cool. Um, overall, as you can hear, I'm not quite sure. I just have a little bit of a vision in my head. I'll have to play around with this a little bit, but I'm super excited. Um, then I said that I wanted doorways. I want to create like a bio lab up here. Someone sent me a comment. Let me just get started with the building whilst I talk. Someone sent me a comment uh, a long time ago now when I built this the first time saying, Iskal, have you considered putting uh, cows and, and um, sugarcane farm in the end? Simply because you can then have book creation in the end. And I think that's fantastic. The whole thing, I want, I want it to breed... Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's let's go seven here, and then let's plan for a doorway uh, right here. Let's place a block like so. I want the whole thing to breathe uh, functionality. So I want to have lapis supply, wood supply, everything that you need when you're here and enchanting, because it's very annoying not to have it. Um, okay, so this is actually going to be the, the the layout. Oops, that's wrong. Ah, crap. Just broke everything. Huh. There we go. And then like that. And the doorway would come in there. And then it would come down like so. So maybe we'll have two wings going off. One um, where we'll have like a bio lab. We'll have cows on one side. And we'll have sugarcane on the other side. And that could be over here. And then on the, in the middle side will be the enchanting and an open area. And then on the other side we'll do a storage room. Um... Because I think storage is, is kind of important. And I want to do it like space cells, you know. So every hermit have their own little cell with their own storage. Something like that. That may be too big. I don't know though. Um, and in that storage room, I also want to grab all the ender pearls from the endermen. So this time I'm going to place hoppers underneath where they fall down. Uh, so that all the, all the ender pearls gets collected. Um, yeah. I think we have a... I, I, think a, I think this is going to be super, super cool if we can make it happen. So one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. I hope that no other hermit comes here now and like, hey, I want to use the ender ender. And we're like, uh, sorry, stupid idiot, hermit. You can't because we're building. We be building. We be redefining. Let's just see how this looks, by the way. Yeah, it looks very plain, but that's okay because we can add like windows and stuff on top of this. I really kind of now want to go with iron blocks as a floor. I should be able to afford it. I'm I'm just not sure how, how Tango has restocked his shop. Because these are one stack for two diamonds. So it's not bad. 
Um, it's a very, very small, like, reason for it, but, you know, sun is important. Endermen are so cruel. Uh, and I've got to a point where they're spawning everywhere. Because I haven't lit up the area and, and stuff, so I just died! There's my stuff. And is there any way? I guess I could ender pearl in there. Hopefully I won't die. Boop. Take so much damage without feather falling. Let's see if we get everything back here. I was a little bit worried that things had plopped out and would be gone forever. But it looks like we are good. Need some steak. Um, so, check it out guys. I've been, I've been working away on this and I'm having a lot of fun. Let's just place down some torches for your convenience. We're not going to have any torches here though once it's finished. Um, I guess we can go over here. I decided, I think I've decided, unless you guys say it's garbage, which you may very well do, um, unless you say that, I've decided that I think I want to use iron blocks instead of uh, quartz, because it looks better. This is the quartz design. I think the iron blocks look, look a little bit more industrial, you know, a little bit cooler. Uh, there's a lot of garbage and mess everywhere, so it looks very uh, unclean. I was trying out to, to mix up the carpets, but I don't think I like it. Um, and at the moment, when I died from the Enderman, I'm trying to wire our first door. So you can kind of see the layout here. The centerpiece, where we're going to have some kind of enchanting. And then over here, we'll have the biolab, I think. Um, so we'll have these airlock doors, and we'll have... I'm thinking of having this window and then like an automatic sugarcane farm in there. And then here we'll have cows roaming around. We'll have to... Um, I realized we'll have to probably sacrifice the height of the grass though because otherwise the enderman can spawn there. But we'll get to that later. And then maybe here we'll have a window or we could have another another farm. Um, to get to the cows though, I'm not sure because you kind of have to go in and slay them. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Um, but we'll figure it out. What I'm trying to do though is a little bit more complicated than I thought. I want to make an airlock here um, where we push this button and ooh, there's my arrows. Hi. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we push this button and this happens, right? That's the normal Etho 3x3 door. Um, I wired it very, very messy though, and that's because I wanted to, when we push the button, let me, let me show you again, we push the button, opens, and then I want a delay, and then I want the second door to open as well, um, and then from this side, I want to push this button, this door opens first, and then a delay, and then this door opens, um, and I was trying to wire that as I got, uh, eaten up, eaten up? Yeah, he had me for freaking breakfast, the stupid Enderman. I gotta eat it up by an Enderman. Um, but maybe we should do that together a little bit. Let's just see. I always derp, though. So what I've done here, the reason it's messy is because I have a torch that I wanted to keep central. This torch here that uh, powers all the pistons, or is gonna power all the pistons. And then I've just basically run it very, very, very crude down. I'm planning on going over top and just placing carpets everywhere one, once I'm done with the building and that will stop the Enderman to, to teleport here. But this is our input wire, wire and we need to power this wire to open this door and I'm later going to connect that uh, wire to, to that door that we're going to build there. Uh, and we need a delay for that so I'm thinking something like... and let's see, we want blocks here, here, here and here and then a piston in the middle. And I gotta say, I'm not too concerned about seeing the piston through the through the glass. I think the glass doors look pretty cool, but we'll see what you guys think. Um, the the ceiling I've decided just for convenience that I want to have right here. And by the way, another reason why this is so complicated redstone or messy redstone is because I wanna, if possible, have the button on top. If I were to wire the bottom uh, the the button on the bottom, I could lead redstone upwards, which is a lot cleaner. To do but i figured you know it's cooler if it's on top plus we don't really care about the space outside here we're not we're never going to be here no one's ever going to see it hopefully um so i mean running a wire like this is super ugly but you know you know it doesn't really matter is what i'm thinking uh for this project maybe though i should bring that down what we need to do here is just uh, delay the signal and i think by quite a lot for this to feel um proper feel proper so let's do something like that, and then we want to bring it down to that there, with the repeater again. Um, so let's see, maybe... Yeah, no, this this will be probably be good, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's bring the redstone like that. And then I want another repeater here because we don't want the signal to travel backwards. And then for this to work, we need to place a block here. And that's because the repeater will transfer into this block, which will power this redstone dust and tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk go down. So let's try that out. This should then, then um, nothing should happen first because I haven't wired this door and then that door should open. Let's say we run through and then, yeah, baby. Oh, that was almost perfect timing as well. Let's try that again. Wow, such a feeling. This opens, I run, I run, and this opens. We could we could slow it down or speed it up a little bit, but I think that's pretty good, you know? I think that's pretty good. Maybe you don't want to run through. There is one problem. If you get stuck in between here, I, I don't have a button for that at the moment. I may just place like an emergency button here. Uh, these are windows, by the way. Uh, oh, and the cobblestone platform below. I'll probably just delete afterwards. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll place a, an emergency button or something there. Um, just to make sure that, like, when Rendog comes here, you know, and he gets stuck, he needs to be able to get out. Um, and that's, that's pr pretty much the only reason we'd need that. By the way, I placed iron underneath every single carpet, so I'm pretty poor now, because I bought a lot of iron from Tango. <laughs> but it's worth it, it's gonna be the metallic sound when we walk, which I really like. Whoops! I've created an endless airlock door. It's for Rendog, so that he can always get out. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I did I did poopsie here. Um, I basically created a clock. I've the, 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 the delay line that goes over to the input line over here. That's one input line from that side. Uh, also, of course, shoots back around and creates a clock. Where it goes around and around and around. Looks pretty cool, though. I like it, but it's not what we want. So, we need to have this signal here being directional to this uh, to this side and non-directional to the other side if that makes sense I think I'm not really sure how we're gonna do that though um, I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit um, but let's uh, let's uh, let me take a little bit of a break from the airlock doors I think we can do like a mono stable there that uh, cuts off the the signal gotta tell you though guys the the um, the, the gray, the, the gray side, what am I saying? The gray hool takes a lot of resources for this. I went back and I stood AFK for an hour in the in the triple spawner to get some more stacks. Uh, we need a new hool farm that is better than the old one. We're AFK able. Me and Exuma Void has been discussing a little bit, so that may be a thing that we're going to do. Uh, next up here, though, I want to I want to focus a little bit on the middle part. Because, like, this, you can now see the idea that I have for the building. But I want to... I want to make sure that these Endermen are so annoying, though. I want to make sure that we get a little bit of uh, a functionality here as well. So, let's see. How do we start this? I think we're going to come out again like we had it. But this time I'm going to put hoppers uh, where the Endermen drop down. I don't know if I said that earlier. I think I may have done. Uh, let's see. Where is the... This is scary, though. <laughs> do they die if I place the, the block there? Or is that a good... Good height for them. Oh, please, someone fall on that block. There we go. Okay. No, they don't die. That's that's the one-hit block, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So we want to do hoppers, which are super expensive because it's iron. We want to have hoppers. Where is my... Oh, don't tell me. No, I, I do have hoppers. Hold on. I do have hoppers. Don't do you think I'm brand new? Don't be crazy now. Oh, jeez. Where are they, though? There they are. There's my beautiful hoppers. I did bring them. Um, yeah, we want to have hoppers that they land on. So let's remove this garbage and put hoppers like... So. Actually, that's the biolab, so we probably want to face them this direction. Uh, do I have any garbage blocks that I can use? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll place, um, we'll place a hopper line down this way oh my god oh my goodness this is scary scary business yeah that's good okay um it's not exactly the most environmental friendly place to work one of these can just punch me off the line actually let me put my flight bow on my bar in case they do punch me off i did an epic like fly up thing um oh no 
I think I'm gonna die here. And my stuff is in jeopardy. I did an epic fly up from my in my single player world once, but I didn't catch it on camera. Like I got punched down, managed to fly up and and all the way back. It's not super hard, but it's just that everything happens so freaking fast, you know. So you gotta be really, really quick thinker, which I am I ain't the I ain't the sharpest knife in the box, if I'm honest. Um Okay, maybe I should just get ooh. I pickaxed you. <laughs> I pickaxed him! Maybe I should get a little bit of this done off camera. I think uh, we have a difference here now though with the height, so they can get out of that thing there, which means that we need to bring down a bar. Maybe I'll play something uh, temporarily like that. Um, oh, jeez, you should be one hit though. Yes. Look at how much damage they deal. I think that's a change that they did as well in 1.9. They upgraded Enderman again. This is scary, man. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to lock them in like so, and I have to get rid of all these idiots. I, a lot of these are not one hits though, so I want to be careful. Oh, vintage beef was blown up by a creeper. Oh no! Hope you took some diorite with you to your death, though, Mr. Beef. I still haven't died. They didn't punch me down. On top of these hoppers, I'm not sure if they can spawn on hoppers. I actually have no idea. Oh, beef rage quitted. <laughs> He died from a creeper. I offered him help, but then I didn't see if he res if he responded. Uh, I'm not sure if they can spawn on uh, hoppers, nor if they can teleport on hoppers. But I figure it will probably look nicer if we have a carpet on top of this as well. Anyway, so no need to try it. Um, so this is how it's gonna look. Well, <laughs> we have to change this for something. Maybe we'll go with a uh, oops, an iron an iron bar, just like we do with the doors here. So we'll go. Take this away, and they're going to pop out, like that. Oh, jeez. Enderman, you're crazy. And I'm so afraid of looking in your eyes. And if you say, if you comment to that, well, you should have worn a pumpkin, Neskal. Don't you know that a pumpkin on your head, then you can't see the, the Enderman, you stupid idiot. You don't know nothing about Minecraft. Well, shut up, I say, because you know what? You can't see anything in the pumpkin. Um, Exuma Void is actually working on a uh, on an enhanced vanilla vanilla tweaks is what he calls it vanilla tweaks texture pack that has a transparent pumpkin helmet which is a little bit cheaty maybe but it's it's actually a thing in the game where it's so bad the way it's designed that you don't you end up not using it you know so um, I may I may install his texture pack and use the pumpkin in the future if I ever do this again. Uh, but for now, I think I'm good. Okay, so the, the thing actually ends here. So we should move this wall over to there and then this over to here. Now, let's just try and plan this out a little bit. Yeah, we'll have the hopper line go there. We'll, we'll make the storage facilities over there. I'm just going to mimic what we have here, basically. Um, and then I think over here, we'll just install a wall. It's going to be very symmetrical. I, this is actually a little bit um, different for me to build this style. I never really uh, build straight lines and stuff. It's it's uh, it's a nice way of playing Minecraft, though, I gotta say. Building goes kind of quick because you don't have to texturize and stuff. And I think it, it suits the theme here as well. Maybe what we should do here is bring... We need that iron block there or a slab, I guess. So we could... Let's try something here. How does a... If you wonder why there are no mob sounds, by the way, it's because I've turned them off. Because I don't like the mob sounds in this game when you're uh, building something in and, and there are endermen everywhere. Okay? Your sound is not broken. My sound is not broken. It's just a feature of the video. A feature. How does it look to have it like that? That may be cool. Yeah. Or even, maybe, even maybe, check this out. I wonder if they can... This is a little bit dangerous. To, oh, that looks amazing. Uh, do we have... Do I? Am I out of iron? No, I got loads. Yeah, maybe we try that. I don't know if the enemy can get through that. So the idea is, uh, because I didn't really explain, we'd raise this up and we'd place trapdoors. Can you guys move? We'd place the trapdoors like that and then I'll fill in the backwards. Can they get through there? Come get me, fools! Oop. Whew! It doesn't matter if they can see me, because they can clearly see me, as you see. But that doesn't really matter. We could also power these. 
Oh, didn't they change it though? Or is that in 1.11 so that you can place them powered? I think they changed it. We could power them and, and have them uh, like that. Then they could probably not see us. And that may look even cooler. Ah, that sound when you walk on the iron. On the iron. I think it's pronounced. I like it. It was totally worth it to have iron underneath. Anyway, I've been doing some more stuff here. And check the ceiling out. I think that's pretty cool. It is uh, carpet blocks on top of white glass. And I got to connect the glass textures in uh, Optifine enabled. I think that looks really cool. I've started to introduce these uh, sea lanterns. Uh, this, is, this is my favorite here where the sea lantern is behind an, uh, a trapdoor, an iron trapdoor. I think that looks really cool. And then a light blue glass. I think it is at least. I know that this is... Yeah, I think the other one is as well. Cyan was a little bit too dark. Um, but I'm not sure. Like, the sea lantern color isn't isn't perfect. Um, one thing that throws us, though, is is this single middle piece that's just bleh at the moment. So I want to try and move that before, we, before we're finished here for today. We've done loads, though. I, I had another go at trying to fix this door. It works from the other side, but not this side because I need the directional redstone. So I'll do that another day. And the entrance here. The idea is that we'll have, like, a space tunnel leading up to this. We'll do an ice boat thing as well. Uh, but it just feels so spacious, and now I think we are safe to, like, uh, try and play around with this again. I wanted to try the, the trapdoor design that we that we had. I think I showed on camera just now. Um, was a few hours ago in real life, though. But um, uh, I want to try that. So I have got a powered redstone wire on top of these, which... Uh, oh, I thought that they would be powered. Hmm, let's see. I was hoping that these would be... Come on, guys! Jeez, in my face. Um, oh, okay. You know what I think it is? This is a bug, I think. If we block update it... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we need a block update. I think that's a really cool thing. I don't know if they can see us, but I noticed once we're in the quartz, or once we have the half slabs, they can actually see us, as you can see there. So, this may be safer. Plus, it looks way cooler if we can make it happen. We gotta be quick, though. Much quicker. Maybe if I place... You there? I'm so bad at using my offhand in this game. It's ridiculous. We shouldn't get anyone that teleports though, because I've closed off the room. All right, like that. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Come on now, that looks fantastic. And we'll probably never see Ender pearls there. Well, we may see some Ender pearls there, but they're always going to be picked up by the hoppers. The only thing is that I haven't connected the hopper to anything yet. I should have made the storage room before I made the bio lab. If I'm honest. Would have made it a little bit easier. Um, and these guys that are running around inside here now should just be... Actually, I have so much junk in my inventory. Let's get rid of a little bit. Uh, I say junk and then I have all my diamonds and my belongings with me. Stupid idiot me. Anyway. But that looks really cool. I don't think they can see us either. So we should be fine. It looks like, a, like an engine of some sort. <laughs> the space station powered by stupid endermen. We have to get rid of that purple line there though. I'm gonna put uh, cyan clay there. Uh, overall, this build is very like bland and boring. So um, once we're done with like the base features of the room, I'm planning on I'm, I'll try this here just to make like a little bit of a chip or something in the wall. So I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a, a play around with that for sure. We're not gonna ooh hi guy. We're not gonna leave it this uh, this uh, plane. Um, and I'm not sure about the corners of this thing. Anyway, let's try and reorganize this thing. I'm thinking... I do have wood with me, so I can just break these. I'm thinking that I want to move this back one block. And then I want to try and hide the bookshelves best I can. Because uh, bookshelves uh, isn't really space station -y. Very cool. This looks so clean and nice. In fact, get rid of this ladder. Boop. It looks so clean. Check it out. I'm a little bit worried though. I'm not sure if... Because <clears throat> I, I don't have carpet here. I think if I put carpet there, I'm not going to be able to enchant level 30. Let's just double check that. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. And if so, they do have a valid teleport to position here. But yeah, they are, that's not level, level 30. Um, this would be level 30, right? Yeah, okay. Um... <clears throat> That may be something we have to sacrifice, like having this teleportable, or we'll place... I don't know if they can teleport to stairs, so we could ch change this out, you know, for uh, court stairs. Like this. 
could work. Actually, that may may look better. I really like the cyan uh, cyan floor though next to the carpet, but this may be better. But then you can see the sea lantern. I'm not sure. Um, that's something that I'll have to investigate. There are a few things that are flaw flawly flawly that aren't perfect with this design. One is the fact that. Um, we don't have any anvils nearby or anything, so I was thinking a little bit just uh, whilst I was clearing out the chests and clearing out the ugly thing there. Maybe, maybe we should go like to make this cooler. I was talking about two different heights and I haven't really done that, uh, so, but that's a little bit too late now. But we could separate the rooms here. We could do something like this. You know how they have in, in space stations? Uh, and then I was thinking, let's just get some more iron. Uh, I don't know if they can teleport to iron bars, so that's something I have to try, but I wouldn't think so by default. I was thinking we could do something like this. Iron bars are pretty ugly, though. Um, to simulate, like, the room wall. Actually, we could, could possibly bring this all the way up and wrap it around. Um, I'm not sure. But just a little bit more shape to the room, you know? We could do something like that, even, and just remove these. And just go with a glass window here. Ooh. Yeah, that ain't too bad. And then inside here, we could use the reason I want that. Let's get some glass. I cannot finish this project today. I need to get going. But I'm having a lot of fun doing this thing. Let's just try something here. If we were to go like cyan glass or light blue glass like that. Ooh. Yeah, baby. And then we could split up the roof. Ah, come on, Iska. Let's just try. It's a super long episode. I don't know how how long this is at the moment, but way too long. I'm gonna get stressed when I edit it. Could do something like that, you know? Um, and then have all the other things here. So, like, you'd have your anvil and you'd have your um, uh, lapis dispenser and that kind of stuff. I'm not sure, though. We, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Ooh, that kind of looks cool. I kind of like that. Actually, let's put a stair. See, I cannot stop. That's going to do it for today, though, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you have enjoyed this redefining of the end. This is probably a project that I want to come back to already next time. We've got to go back to uh, Mobile Lisa pretty soon, though, as well. Uh, is that off-center? No. Okay. We've got to go back to Mobile Lisa pretty soon, though, as well, because uh, we have a lot of things to do there, and Rendog has been working hard. You have to go and check out his channel. He's done some pretty the amazing looking things lately. I'm just super excited uh, with a lot of projects. But this is a thing that I've been thinking about for the longest time and I just want to get refined. That looks cool. I like that. It's a very modern, spacey build. Um, but now you can clearly see like what I meant with how, how boring the, the walls are. We definitely have to change that and make that prettier. Um, down here we could do the fence trick instead. Anyway. Uh, that's gonna do it for today. This is functional. That's the good thing. Thank you so much for watching If you, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below uh, Leave me some feedback some comments, and I shall see you in the next episode